This is the Hadron Particle Synthesizer. It's a free open source plugin that you can use as a granular audio effect or a granular synthesizer, or you can morph between those two different states. Granular synthesis takes audio files and breaks them down into many very short, short loops that we call grains. And then when we manipulate how these grains are played back by the length of the grain or how many of them are played back at once, we can create new tones from the source material. We install the plugin like you install any free plugin and use it with any DAW. I'm using Ableton Live and I'm dropping it on an audio track here. Let's choose some samples. I'll choose three that come with it already. And for the last one, I'll choose audio input. This will analyze the live audio input on the fly to perform granular synthesis. To get some sound, let's choose states. Each state is a configuration of the granular processing that determines how the granular synth engine will be used. So we can get a variety of different sounds out of the same kind of synth brain by loading these different states that will change how we use it. Each state also makes use of these four expression controls. So this will alter the state. It will take the same fundamental way that the synth is being used, but we can manipulate, kind of fine tune the instrument from there. So you can get really different sounds from kind of the same basic starting point. Each different state will use the expression controls in a different way. So as we load multiple states into the Hadron, we can then seamlessly slide between them. So you may notice there's different letters at the beginning of each of these state names. FX means it's designed to process audio input, like an effect pedal or like any effect plugin. TFX is the same, but it will only play when it's triggered by a MIDI note. GR is grain rate, and GT is grain transpose. Grain rate will use very short grains, very short loops of audio, and grain transpose will use longer ones. So with grain transpose, you hear more of the original source material, it's more recognizable. So if you put something very tonal in, you'll get something very tonal out. Whereas grain rate abstracts it much more deeply and you can kind of get any sound from any source material depending on how you play those grains back. Between the four different states that you can access at once and the variety of expression controls and the ability to slide between different combinations of all these states at once, you can really use this in your own way and make some really unexpected, unique sounds from it. Let's see some of the sounds that come out. 